just wanted to do this video on present authoring suite. Uh, just it's been a few weeks now since I did the past authoring suite and uh, the future authoring suite, and I wanted to finish it off by doing the present authoring suite, both the good virtues and the bad virtues. Uh, so I finished it today, and uh, yeah, it was really interesting. Uh, my mind was. Um, connected with uh, sort of different as ideas uh, of what I thought I'd, it'd be when I was doing it. And also I felt so that I was saying canned lines that I say to myself quite often, like just stuff like, um, um, just stuff I hear myself saying all the time or ideas I've read about coming up when I was writing about my own virtues. It's like stuff I've read in books and uh, mingled in with my own ideas. So uh, when I was talking about my own virtues, it was hard to know, was I using my own language to talk about my own virtues or was it language that, I, that I'd read in books or um, at these point of views that I've learned over time or have I, because uh, uh, I, I didn't, to me when I was in the present author, I wasn't uh, saying anything original uh, about the virtues I was acknowledging in myself. There was nothing I, I was saying about myself that, that I wouldn't already say. I, I, I did iterate uh, um, some ideas that, uh, where I, I delved deeper into some virtues that I thought about myself and explored them a little further uh, than I'd already done. But I guess over time, you know, the way my thinking is, or, you know, you, you, you can self analysis that I've been doing over the last years. Um, you know, I'm always thinking about what are my virtues, what are my my faults, where am I going, what's the past. So if anything, it was kind of, it didn't seem as deep as the past authoring suite or the future authoring suite, um, because maybe uh, there, there was no idea of a past history or idea of a future history that I had, it was current. So I guess there wasn't that as much emotion involved with the process as the other two. Uh, and I did find uh, that I was uh, bored of myself slightly talking about my own board virtues. That was another interesting thing um, that I, uh, um, I I was kind of pushing myself to do it. Whereas the future all things we, in the past all things we, uh, it just flowed out of me. Um, I, I felt I was pretty close and in tandem with my subconscious. With this, I had to really think about it, like um, on an intellectual level, not an emotional level, about what exactly are my virtues, and you know. So basically, uh, similar to the past author suite and the future author suite, uh, it asks you to. It, it goes first. It asks you a couple of questions. Forty virtues that I selected all together. I think something like that, maybe fifty virtues, and then. Uh, it was whittled down to another seven and those seven that I selected then were similar to the past authoring suite and the future authoring suite. I had to select a story from the past that uh, um, exposed this virtue for being a virtue and a, tr a good trait of mine and uh, describe that story and um, then I asked to describe how you, you could have used that trait or virtue um, in hindsight, and then it asks you how to uh, use that trait or virtue for your betterment in the future. So uh, that being said, so I, I, you know, I had seven virtues selected. I think you know you can choose up to nine, um, minimum six. And I chose seven, and um, because I, uh, I felt that the seven really encapsulated who I was as deep as the other 
past Autumn Suite and Future Autumn Suite. Um, but it, it definitely uh, made me, uh, that's because the emotion wasn't attached to it strongly, but it definitely uh, really made me consider in detail, once again, uh, uh, and it highlighted, uh, I acknowledge more after doing it, like what are my virtues and what are my good traits. And it, it, it kind of, I've kind of now looking at like plain, plainly, I'm like, yeah, they are my virtues. You know, they are my traits. There's no wishy-washiness to it. Like uh, I've shown all the course of my life that I've really excelled in these areas. Uh, and, in, and then it points out in what ways I've excelled. So um, in that case, I think it's really helpful. Is it as much a cathartic experience as the past authoring suite or uh, uh, as uh, emotionally um, volatile as the future authoring suite in my opinion? No, but, but um, uh, it still uh, has, you know, since I did it today, I, I'm, I'm just questioning things about myself since then in a slightly different manner. So in the next uh, uh, authoring suite that I'm gonna do is the false. And so hopefully I'll have that done in like a day or two.